Hi everybody, I'm Jennifer Angel. This is my weekly message. And yes, my little sweetie pie has come up to say hello today. Hey? And um, of course we're getting ready for his walk. So he'll, we'll be going out and doing that and shaking the energy around and refreshing our spirits in a minute. He's a little Aries pup. So, you know, he really does like his exercise. Oh, big yawn. Doesn't seem like it at the moment. But anyway, let's have a look. We'll pop him down. Let's have a look at what's happening this week. A few uh, noteworthy things. And first of all, we have a new moon and it's an eclipsed new moon. That's at the uh, end of the week on the Sunday. So um, it moves into the sign of Gemini, but it's right on the cusp of Taurus. It's like half a degree in. So, of course, you know, when it's the sign that it's in, it, it has it, it more powerful, let's say, but um, still uh, eclipse will affect Every star sign, as I've said many times, the energy is there. It affects every star sign in a different area of your life. Okay, and I've covered that all in your individual uh, reports. So, but this is a you know very good time just to plan where you want to be, where you are now. Get your goals out, review them. I think you know new new moon time is very good planning time. Very good time to just. Um, you know, get your thoughts right, and particularly as it's sitting there in Gemini, it's a very communicative sign. Gemini is all about um, creativity, media, writing, publishing. Um, so, you know, this is it's going to be a positive time and new start in many areas for um, you know all signs. Now, the other things that are worth mentioning is that um, Venus also sitting in Gemini goes retrograde. Uh, this week on the 16th on the Wednesday so Venus is um, the planet of love as we know it it's also represents money and possessions and with love when it's retrograde it can get a little bit sort of uh, possessive and temptress so uh, you want to make sure that uh, anything that you're doing on a relationship level is, is above board for a couple of reasons. There's also two aspects to do with Pluto this week. And although they're soft aspects, they're trines, one's with Venus, one's with Mars, um, anything to do with Pluto is, uh, you know, it's about transforming yourself. So you can, Pluto tends to break things down if there's cracks in relationships, for instance. It'll sort of pull it apart and break it down so you can then go in and, and build it up again. So anything to do with Pluto, in my mind, I always think that you want to be really uh, upfront and honest. If you try to sneak in a few white lies here or there or make out that something is better than it is or different than what it is, you, you some way, somehow, um, you're going to get found out. So be forewarned. Okay, um, act with a level of sincerity about your intentions at all times and you can't go wrong. So uh, there's quite a bit of movement coming up over the next month. There's going to be quite a few planets uh, moving into the sign of Gemini. So it's a great time for them, great time for everybody because, you know, the vibrations affect you all on a different level. But in... in uh, um, Four weeks' time, Jupiter will make its move, and Jupiter only moves about once a year, approximately, uh, into G Gemini, a very creative position, and um, Mercury, which is Gemini's ruling planet, so it's very comfortable there, will move into that position in about 10 days. So uh, anything creative or do with the media, um, is all highlighted as positive over this time and we'll have a look at the individual aspects as, as we go through the weeks. Okay, so for now, have a great week everybody. Enjoy the new moon and the eclipse. I'm Jennifer Angel. Thank you so much for all your love and support. Thank you so much for all your messages. I do get them even if I don't get around to responding, but please know I do get them and I, and I very much appreciate all of them. Okay, so Bye-bye from Yogi and myself. <laughs> Bye, everybody.